Jura is on Daenerys's ship that sailed from Carth to Astapor. He is also with her when Krasny's Monaklos demonstrates the level of obedience of his unsullied soldiers by slicing off one of their nipples and urges her to purchase them. During the conversation, Daenerys finds herself distracted by a young girl playing with a ball. A cloaked stranger appears from behind them to knock the ball out of her hands, and Jorah engages in a struggle with him. The ball hits the floor and cracks open to reveal a matacor, which the stranger promptly stabs with his dagger. When he removes his hood, Jorah recognizes him as Sir Barristan Selmy, who pledges fealty to her. Jorah reaches the walk of punishment with Daenerys and Sir Barristan. He and Sir Barristan debate the merits of buying the Unsullied. Barristan advises Daenerys that there is no honor in conquering with a purchased slave army. Jorah counters that honor does not win battles and that the Unsullied are not like a regular army. They will not rape and pillage, and will only kill who they are ordered to kill. Daenerys eventually offers one of her dragons to Krasnys in return for all 8,000 of his Unsullied, a deal that Jorah and Barristan both strongly advise her against. Nevertheless, Daenerys stands her ground and scolds her two advisors for contradicting her in public. Jorah is present at the sack of Astapor where Daenerys manages to both keep all of her dragons and win the army as well as their trust in her as a queen and not as a mistress, effectively getting the best out of both Jorah and Barristan's prior arguments. On the road north to Yunkai, Jorah reminisces with Barristan about the day he was knighted by King Robert for his part in the Siege of Pike in the Greyjoy Rebellion. He recalls that the only thing on his mind was how badly he needed to urinate, having been sealed in armor for 16 hours. Barristan prods Jorah about his past, when he was disgraced and exiled for his involvement in the slave trade, and warns him that his presence alongside Daenerys may harm her image in Westeros. Jorah questions Barristan about the advisers on King Robert's small council, subtly trying to ascertain whether Barristan knows that he was previously spying on Daenerys for Varys. However, Barristan explains that as a former Targaryen loyalist, King Robert did not fully trust him, and excluded him from council meetings. Jorah and Barristan briefly bicker about the fact that Barristan has only just arrived, while Jorah has been protecting Daenerys for months. Jorah tells Barristan that he is not Lord Commander here, and Jorah only takes orders from Daenerys. Upon arriving at Yunkai's gates, Jorah is dismissive of Daenerys's and Barristan's claims that its reputation for training bed slaves rather than soldiers will give them a clear advantage and explains that Yunkai will in all likelihood just shut its gates and chip away at Daenerys's army using guerrilla tactics. He also advises Danny that conquering Yunkai is irrelevant in their quest to return to Westeros, but she is adamant on freeing the hundreds of thousands of slaves within the city walls. Jorah is present in Daenerys's tent when the Yunkish slave trader Razdal Moeraz arrives bearing gifts, who she quickly dismisses after taking his gold. Following her orders, he spies on the mercenary group, the Second Sons, and is again present in her tent when she is hosting the two mercenary captains Mero and Prendal N. A. Gezon, and their lieutenant Dario Naharis. Mero is sexually vulgar towards Daenerys which prompts Sir Jorah to threaten him to mind his tongue. With Dario's help, Jorah and Grey Worm enter Yunkai from one of its posterior tunnels, and the three of them successfully fight off a number of guards and open the gates of Yunkai from the inside, allowing the Unsullied to sweep in and win the city for Daenerys. Jorah, however, is noticeably distraught when all of Daenerys's post-victory attention is centered on Dario. Jorah, along with Sir Barristan, Dario, and Masande, is also present when Daenerys is met by the freed slaves of Yunkai. Daenerys frets that the Yunkish slaves, who are better treated than Astapors, might have grown to like their chains and will not welcome freedom. Finally, the gates open and the freedmen pour out. Masande begins to tell them of how Daenerys the Unburnt freed them, but Daenerys interrupts and says that it is the slaves' own choice to reach for their freedom. After a moment, one of the freedmen stretches his hand towards Daenerys and calls out, Wysa, Old Giscari for, Mother, followed by an entire crowd echoing him. Although wary of her safety, Daenerys tells Jorah that they won't hurt her. This is proven to be true when she greeted with open arms by the newly freed slaves of Yunkai.